What is up, YouTube? Northeast Ohio here for a quick little star stock video. So as the description most likely reads, I have decided to submit some cards to PSA through the star stock platform. Uh, I am doing this more as an experiment than uh, anything else, just to kind of see what's going on. I figured I got some referral bucks from all you guys. Let me buy a couple things and submit them to grading just to kind of see how things turn out. Uh, during the lead up to the NBA season, just to give us a quick little update here. Um, on December 23rd, I made a video showing my star stock collection to start the season. At that point, I had $88 in liquid funds, so cash on hand in my account, and I had an $880 estimated value. As it stands now, uh, let me zoom in here a little bit. Uh, I have $294 cash on hand and $2,300 in estimated value in my portfolio. Um, a decent amount of that has basically come from quick flips. And when I say quick flips, I'm talking five to 10 minutes. In some cases, uh, star stock is just wild times. Um, and some of it is some, you know, in the fall, I bought like a Donovan Mitchell PSA nine for like 110 bucks. I recently just sold that for like 160, 170. Um, I made a lot of money off Keldon Johnson and I've actually rebought back into Keldon Johnson. Um, all sorts of shenanigans, fun times. Uh, Star stock is a wild, wild place. There are tons of videos out there that explain it better than I do, but here we sit. So if you're wondering how I got here, uh, you can see bought Keldon for 41, sold for 79. Uh, these are the quick flips that I'm talking about. I took a flyer on Bruce Brown uh, and then quickly sold him for four bucks, three bucks profit. Doesn't sound like much, but the stuff adds up. Uh, KPJ PSA nine bought for 32, sold for 50. Uh, took a little dive in the OG Ananobi. Here's some DeAndre Hunters bought for 40, sold for 70, bought for 46, sold for 60. Here's some ones I got wrong. Tremont Waters bought for eight, sold for 350. My theory on star stock is if I get into these guys, I'm not going to let them just sit in my inventory. I'll just dump them and move on. Uh, and part of that is I view and I'm a little fast and loose on star stock because I view a lot of it as a free roll. I started with 25 bucks in my account. Here we are today with 2K in estimated value and 300 bucks in cash on hand. And yes, some of that is definitely from referrals. I would absolutely love to tell you how many $10 referrals I have, but they do not tell me just $10 randomly appears on my account total. There's no activity log that you can look at that shows you those deposits. Cause I would actually really like to know how much I've gotten. I know that I've gotten some cause sometimes like I log in and I'm like, I feel like that's more than what was in there before. I don't, you don't get an email, nothing. So thank you to everyone who has used the promo code to check out star stock. I'm hoping you are having as much fun as I am. Um, but yeah, took a little D'Anthony Melton run here, whiffed on that one, big D'Anthony Melton one, made a little profit on some and then sold some off for a loss. Um, so yeah, yeah here's a perfect example. Bought Keldon for 23, sold for 40, bought Keldon for 44, sold for 60, bought Keldon for 45, sold for 60. And then when you come up here, Bought for 41, sold for 79. There was a day where he was around 40 bucks. I sold a bunch of them, or I'm sorry, I bought a bunch of them. I bought like eight of them. Um, and I've been slowly selling them as the prices have gone up. I still have four left. Uh, and they currently sit, the cheapest one for sale right now is $74. Um, there's a few for sale under 80. I have one listed at 89. I do not necessarily expect that to sell anytime soon, but I like to have one up there fairly high. Uh, you can see there's about five cards blocking me plus what everyone might, anyone might post. Um, but uh, it is what it is. 
So the purpose of this video is I have rambled on long enough is I would like to submit a couple cards for grading. <clears throat> so I sold off a few things like that Mitchell PSA nine uh, to run the bankroll up a little bit because um, I didn't really have anything in my account that was worth grading. My biggest cards in my account were already graded. Uh, I have a tray PSA nine um, OG Ananobi base. I'm not sure that that's worth it. Uh, I have a Morant um, PSA nine. And, you know, those are some of my biggest cards on the platform. I've uh, tried Tyler Hero PSA nine. So I have a bunch of PSA nines. And then I have some DeAndre Hunter bases. I don't know that I necessarily want to, um, you know, grade a DeAndre Hunter base, but it is what it is. So I don't know exactly, you know, that I have anything in here at the time worth grading. So I went out and decided to make some purchases. Um, and they were some pretty pricey cards. I'm not going to lie. So I went and bought this. DeAndre Hunter Silver A for 150. I believe that was mine. Um, I bought a Keldon Johnson Prism Silver A for 210. And I bought two Silver Select Concourse Keldon Johnson A's uh, for $100 apiece, $99 and $100. Now, you might be saying to yourself, what the hell are you doing spending 200 and some bucks on a Keldon Johnson silver base? Well, for one, it's actually about what they sell for these days. I actually think that was a decent deal. Um, raw, they are going for a little over $200 right now on eBay. And this one was an A. Now, no one really knows what an A, a B, and a C is. But everyone's essentially star stock market has been treating A's as PSA 9s-ish when it comes to pricing. Uh, and in some cases you could get PSA nines for cheaper. So, and, and here's another fun little star stock thing. This is a perfect example. Deandre Hunter prism base is selling for $71. The cheapest one available is 71 99. Uh, and there are 33 offers for $52. The red, white, and blue, which I own one of these, uh, and I am not the cheapest, but I am one of the cheapest on the market sells for last sale, $46 and multiples available for around 58 to $59. Once again, full disclosure, one of these is mine. Uh, this one's at 58 95. I have one listed for 58 95. I am not trying to pump this card, but there is money to be made. I do this all the time. These red, white, and blues, greens, etc., fall behind Prism Base on Star Stock way quicker than a normal marketplace. Why I don't know, but Prism Base flies and everything else gets left behind. There's been so many occasions if we searched through my sold history where I have gone on and bought a Hunter, a Basley. I just sold a KPJ the other day for twenty to 40% cheaper than what prism base is selling for. I will mark it up for slightly under what the prism base is going for. And it'll usually sell within a day or two, as long as the player, you know, didn't get hurt or crap the bed. And it doesn't move quite as fast as the prism base, but I have consistently made easy money off of that. Looking for prism parallels when the base cards shoot up, it happens every single night. And it's specifically the red, white, and blues and the greens in most cases. Now I get it. Those aren't the most desirable parallels, but they should not be selling for less than the base card. Silvers and stuff like that are fairly well respected. Um, but for whatever reason, those ones are not. And like I said, perfect example. Hunter base selling for $71. Red, white, and blue. You can have them for $12 cheaper right now. Right off the get. So same thing with Darius Baisley. Uh, I've actually priced this the same price as his base. His base prism is going for about 42. I think I bought this for around 20. I have it posted at 40 and it's been sitting there for a couple of days and I'm not touching it because eventually Darius Baisley is going to keep going up a couple bucks and people, someone else is going to realize 
what I realize and they're going to they're going to grab this and I'll make, you know, 10, 15, 20 bucks off that card. Um, Star stock is essentially like a snowball rolling down a mountain. You keep making a bunch of little small transactions, which builds your bankroll, which allows you to buy a little bit bigger cards or more cards, et cetera, et cetera. And then you just keep building and building and building and building. Uh, until you could just randomly hop on and buy like, you know, eight to ten forty dollar Kelton Johnson's in a foul swoop uh, and then, you know, hold them for a couple of days and start flipping them for 60, 70, 80 bucks a piece as the prices go up. So. um, sorry, we've gone on a complete tangent here, but so what I am going to submit and it is um a regular submission. So probably three to four months is my guess, unless they're getting preferential treatment. Their first sub went out a few weeks ago. Um, I haven't heard any. I was not part of that one. Uh, So I'm going to submit four cards. I'm going to submit the Hunter Silver, which in a PSA 10 is about 400 bucks. I'm going to submit the Johnson, the Keldon Johnson Prism Silver, which is in a PSA 10 right now, like a thousand. Those things are going for a K. Uh, And then the two silver Keldon Johnson Concourse Selects, which are going for anywhere from four to six hundred. I believe last check. Those are very low pop count. so not a lot of them have sold in the real world. Uh, so those are the four cards I'm going to submit. My plan here is my thought process is these are going to take four to five months to get back to me. Uh, or when I say back to me, back into my star stock account. So we will see. The reason I'm submitting these now is, is that my thought process is I will have these back for the beginning of to middle maybe first second round of the nba playoffs and if the hawks are still playing well that means hunter would be in play and spurs look pretty okay they could be pretty frisky maybe they're a playoff team Um, and i really like what i've seen out of kelton johnson he's extremely grown on me Uh, he's one of the guys i wasn't like actively buying him in the preseason but i also was not actively selling him i had all his stuff pulled out ready to rock and roll uh, and i have a pile of stuff to sort through for, for grading actually um, so it is what it is, but those are the four cards I'm going to submit. We will see how this goes. I would be perfectly happy if two of them come back PSA tens. The other thing I'm thinking about doing is if I could find a card that intrigues me, I really want to buy some C's. So if we go to, let's look at Kelton Johnson base real quick. His star stock A currently sells for $75. His star stock B sells for $29. This card on eBay right now in the real world sells for about 25 bucks. Star stock C's are selling for about 10 bucks. I don't know what's right and what's wrong here because no one really knows what I mean, they give you grading guidelines. So what I would like to do or what I am considering doing is a player that I am semi interested in buying some C's and having them sent to me Uh, because I am very curious what a star stock C is. So I'm going to look around a little bit tonight and probably try to buy a couple things and have some C's sent home. Um, cause I, once again, I just kind of want to see what the hell a star stock C is because right now a star stock a is basically selling for close to PSA nine prices. It's not quite there yet. It's like a PSA 8.75, <laughs> if that makes sense. Uh, so I'm interested in what a star stock C looks like. How bad are they to get a C rating? So that might be a little experiment that we might do here on the channel, um, putting your guys' referral bucks to use to give back to you guys with a little information on what exactly a star stock seat is. So um, that's all I have for you guys today. The submission deadline for this PSA submission is Friday. So I will be filling that out tonight or tomorrow um, to get those submitted in and ready to go out. And then I'm going to do some shopping for some star stock seats. I don't know that it'll be Kelton Johnson. Uh, but I'm going to go find something in a star stock, star stock C that intrigues me and have those sent home so we can all see what the hell a star stock C is.
uh, and maybe get some better information. Maybe I'll do the same with bees. We'll see. I kind of want to start at the bottom uh, and work my way up uh, to see what they are. The experiment with the A's is going to be what does PSA say about them? And Starstock does look your cards over before they go out and they do wipe them down, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, and if they see something that they don't think will grade a nine or a 10, they will email you and say, we don't think you should send this. So we'll see what happens. Um, I'm, I would like to do a video on the whole star stock pricing structure and how the market is treating star stock A's, but it continues to baffle me. I have some theories and some hot takes on why star stock A's sell for so much. And the gap has only widened. Um, since the NBA season has started, but um, that's all I have for you guys today. If you're interested in star stock, the code is still down below, you know, do all the YouTube nonsense, all that jazz, and we will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.